Well, Fortune Fine Woodworking Tools is back here again, and this time they want me to try out a panel clamping kit, which uh, um, allows you to work with veneered or non-veneered MDF material to make fast cabinet doors that have the appearance, appearance of being raised panel doors. Um, and you know, some jobs require the appearance, but they don't necessarily require that you make your styles and your rails and you coat them together and they have a, a floating panel in the middle. So what we're going to do here is introduce this system and give it a shot. Starting from the vacuum tower, all right, from here on over is what they provide you. Your system clamps to this. And you can pos position this tower these things don't get all tangled up. These wires and tubes don't get tangled up as you're moving your router around the, the workpiece. With this, with this demonstration, we're using a non-plunged 3/8 shank router, and uh, ideally, you want a, a half-inch plunge router because you can use larger shaper bits. So we'll start with fixing it in place. Right now, everything's floating. We've got four tracks. These two are four feet long. These two are three feet long, and that allows you to make a wide range of door sizes. All right, I'll admit this is the first time I've ever used one of these things. And, uh, I'm just going to see how easy it is to operate. Right. So first, I'm going to secure down to my work table. I've got clamps underneath here that they provide you and they slide on upside down T-tracks. And now I want to get my corners clamped nice and snug and square, which it automatically does for you if you apply the right pressure. Here are our templates. And they provide you with 10 different sized templates. You can also make your own templates. And now the positioning of these is important. They've, they've, given, they've given you a ruler here, or an embedded tape measure, and I know that this piece is 40 centimeters wide. So I'm going to cut that in half and line the red line up with 20 cm, and make sure that my thumb feels it's flush with the outside of the guide track. And we're pretty much in business for the top of the door. This part's this, the bottom of the door, and it's pretty much the same setup lined up at 20 cm and flush with the outside really squeeze it squeeze it down in place I've got my system clamped down to the table over here underneath and my last maneuver in setup is to clamp down to this 2x2 two two that I've got bolted to the side of my bench and that way the whole mechanism won't move it won't shift when I'm applying pressure I want, to, I want to keep my pressure, obviously, down and to the left. Now on this router, they provide, they provide you with a, a, a base plate, which is designed to accept a vacuum connection so that your dust stays away from the edges of your work. If dust gets against these, these guide ways here, then it can affect the precision. Our bit is set at the height I want. And it's time to plunge. I think that the, the safest way to plunge it in, because it has to go in at an angle, is in the corner. So that's what I'm going to do. plunge router would be nicer because you could keep the, the motor running and just release it and let it plunge back up. 
So this way is a little bit trickier, but hey, I'm looking at the result. It feels like it took about 45 seconds, not including the setup, but let's blow away some of this dust. Method of shaping. So for, the, for those jobs where people have a, a limited budget and they can't afford solid wood raised panel doors, this is a good alternative to give them the cosmetic result that they require. Or maybe you're just making doors for your cabinets in your wood shop. You don't want to spend a whole lot of money or, or, or valuable time because it's only you. If you're like me, everybody else's house around you looks pretty darn good, but the furniture in your own house is <laughs> old and decrepit. I would say with this system, you're looking at about a maximum average three minutes per door, production time, and there you go.